we have a user's manual, very good, a lot of information, but unfortunately it doesn't explain everything, which is why I am making this video. Now we have the drone itself. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to show you. If you carefully open up the propellers on the drone, like so, there is a slot for an SD card right there. Now, while you are using the drone to take pictures and film, it will stream it back to the phone that you have attached to the controller. But my personally, I think it's always better to have an SD card in the unit itself. Makes a much more solid final product. Another quick thing, if you're running this, make sure you keep these uncovered, these little vents. I have found from personal experience, if they're covered up and the drone is on, this can get very hot, which could damage the drone. Okay, next we have the controller itself. Opens up very simply. You can take your phone, put it in there, slide it in, and it holds. They do give you another option with this holder. Basically, this slides in, pushes in, and then you can set your phone either way you want. It tightens up on the back. But personally, for me, I'd rather have the phone here because I like to be able to see all the telemetry, everything on the phone and the controller, so I have a lot more information shown to me. Next, you will find a number of these cords. Now, there's a few in there because what they do is they connect the controller to the cell phone that you are using to fly the drone. Of course, one is set up for iPhones, there's one for Android, and then there's the mini USB as well. So you could, there's a big variety of phones that you can use with this drone. Lastly, we have a spare set of blades. Now, I truly hope you don't actually ever need to change them. But if you do, they're there, and simply there's a screwdriver in there, there's a couple of little screws on the side of the blades. Undo them, take this off, put the new one on, and re-tighten. And then everything will be good. Okay, firstly, before we can fly anything, it all has to be charged up. It's very simple. On the controller with the legs open, there is a mini USB port there with which you charge. While you're charging, the screen will light up and tell you it's charging. It also, it will tell you when it is fully charged. Once you've got it off, to check the charge, you press the power button once and it says battery 100%. So I know I'm good. Now with the battery for the drone, same idea, mini USB port, charge it. There are four lights here. When they've all stopped blinking, you're charged. And if you want to check the charge, press the button once. And I got four, so I'm fully charged. Now what you can do is take the battery and actually to get it out, there's two buttons on the side. You press them in and you can lift it out of the drone. But for now, we'll slide it in. There we are. So that's charged. Now, of course, you have to sort out the app on the phone. In the manual, page three, there is a section here with QR codes. There's one for Apple products, one for Google, one for Android. So just scan with a QR reader. It'll take you to the page. You can download the app. And then once you have the app, you can just open it up and you have the app ready. Now you need to put it into the controller. So you just lay it in, you can push it, and you're in. Now one thing you have to be certain of is that you put the USB hole on the same side. Because now what you're going to do, you're going to take the connector there's one end of the connector, it shows a USB sign. That goes into the controller itself. And then 
the other end connects into the phone. Okay, now we're all charged up. We're going to have to connect the control of the phone and the drone all together. Now remember earlier on, I mentioned the, the cover over the gimbal and the camera. Now is the time to take it off. And make sure you take it off now when you connect them because otherwise you can damage the gimbal and the uh, camera. So you just push down, pull it forwards and off it comes. Like that. Now, what you're going to do is to power on the drone. What you're going to do is press the button three times and then the fourth press you're going to hold it. One, two, three, four. And the lights will go up and that shows you're turned on. Now you're going to do the same thing with the controller. You're going to press this button three times, hold it on the fourth. One, two, three, four. Lights go up, power's on. Now it's going to, ch it's showing my uh, cable is connected to the phone and what happens is it's going to take maybe half a minute or so to connect to the drone itself. Okay, so now we have everything connected except for the app. So you're going to hit start flying. There are going to be some notifications which you'll have to go through which I have set not to show up anymore. So basically there's a lot of things you can do on here you can do on the controller itself. For example, this button on the top left is you click it, it will take a photo. The top right, you click that, it will start a video recording, click it again, and it will stop. Over here, this drone comes with two speeds. Um, as you know, the drone has obstacle avoidance. Now, there are a couple of times when it will not work. If you fly inside without using a GPS, you won't have any obstacle awareness. And if you go into high speed mode, you won't either, so just be very careful. There's your return home button, and we discussed about that at the start. It will not work if you do not have the GPS set up and satellites showing. Um, also, on the back here, there is a controller which actually controls the tilt of the camera on the front. As you can see, it's going down and going up. And here is where you can see the gimbal at work. As you can see, as you can see, as I move the drone, the camera is staying horizontal. So even if the drone is shaking in the wind, you still get a good solid photo. Okay, we are just about there, ready to fly. Got the drone, the, the controller and the phone all hooked up together. So now we have to calibrate the compass so the drone actually knows where it is and where to come back to if you call it in return. So how are you going to do that? It says a button on the top right. You're going to press that and hold it for five seconds or until it beeps. Now you've got to uh, calibrate the compass. What you're going to do, you're going to pick up the drone and you're going to spin it around five times. Two, three, four, five. There, it beeped. Now you've got to do it the other axis. You, so you hold it face down. One, two, three, four, and there it is. So now the compass is calibrated. Then what you have to do is do the uh, gyro calibration. In order to do that, you hold this button for five seconds. And there, it's, it's calibrated. Okay, so here we are, time to start the drone up and to fly it. I'm gonna be quick, because this is really simple. Just give you the quick orientation. First of all, to take off, you pull the two joysticks out and to the side. Then you can either push up the drone to go up or you can take auto take off which will do it for you. Now make sure it's in his view. Now simply to fly 
You're going to push up on the J on the left stick. It will take you up. Down on the on the stick. It will take you down. If you push left on the stick, it will turn you to the left. And if you push right, it will turn you to the right. On the right stick, if you push forwards, it will go forwards. Well, actually, I'm going to have to turn it a bit because obviously the obstacle awareness. It will go forwards. If you push back, it will go back. And also, if you push to the left, it will straight to the left and to the right, to the right. So that's and then simply to land, you're going to hit the uh, return home, and it comes down. Okay, we're almost there. Now we've got to finally figure out the app. It's pretty simple once you get used to it. I'm going to give you a very quick overview. It, the manual actually covers it really quite well. And to be honest with you, a lot of it is just learning experience. I've just tried it. This is the main loading screen. You can turn on and off the volume, uh, the, the sound from the footage on the top left. There's a little uh, speaker. Then we hit start flying. You can actually uh, cancel out this screen so you don't see it every time. Now we're into the main window itself. If you're connected to the drone, you would actually see the picture through the camera in front and not that pretty late with the road. Now I'm going to quickly go through the different things you have on here. On the left hand side, you've got that H with the uh, exclamation above it. That is another return to home button, the same as you have on the controller. If you decide you want to bring, need to bring your drone home quickly, press that, it'll bring it back to your starting point. Then at the top right, we have uh, all the information about how, how high the drone is, how far away it is from you, etc. To the right of that, actually shows the geomagnetic interference, how much of it there is. Next to that, shows you the amount of satellites. Next to that, the power on the drone that's left available from the battery. Then there's the, uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, how good the Wi-Fi connection is between the drone and the app. Then you've got the, the three lines there, which is a sp for special uh, maneuvers, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then there's a settings menu on the right, which you can use to tweak your uh, camera settings and all that stuff. Right below that, there's a little picture of a camera there. You can actually use this to make the camera go up and down on the drone in flight, rather than using the wheel on the back of the controller. Then we have the, uh, the movie reel. With this, you can actually set it up so when you make when you take footage you can add music to it you can have different filters whole pile of different stuff next we have it looks like a camera with a little circle in the middle it won't allow me to pull up but what it basically it is it's a uh, a multi lens lens fu fu uh, function you can actually switch from the front camera to the camera that's in the bottom of the drone and on the left part of that there's also a section where you can put multiple shots into your scene at the same time you can actually have the scene from the bottom of the drone and the front of the drone and also you can even have yourself on there from the camera on your phone after that we've got the white button Click it once, takes a photo, push and hold, starts the video, push and hold, stops the video. At the bottom, we've got an area where you can find all your videos and photos that you've taken that have been stored from the drone. Now we're going to go up to that one on the top right with the three lines. Again, I'm just going to go over this very quickly. At the top, the little controller, that is the follow me. Click on that. Then you'll click OK, and the drone will 
actively follow the person that has the controller and the phone with them. To the right of that, we have the circumnavigation. You set a center point, a distance that you want the drone to rotate around, so three meters away. Click OK and the drone will spin around the center point. The next one is waypoints. When you click on that, it's going to bring up a map of the area. You can click on the screen and make uh, waypoints. Then when you uh, press the go button, the drone will actively fly itself around each of the spots. So you don't have to do anything except hit the, the button for the video. Um, the VR in there, you, if you have a VR helmet, you can attach to it. Um, the AR, it's basically just add some embedded 3D models into the video stream. I haven't really tried that too much. At the bottom, you've got the arrow pointing up to the right. What that is, is the uh, the soaring away from you. So the, the drone will start right next to you and it will film as it flies backwards and up from you. Next is the little arrow pointing up. That soar to the, soar to the sky. So basically, Put your video on, aim out straight or at the ground below you, and the drone will rise rapidly to give you some really interesting footage. The next one looks like a G. That is very similar to the circumnavigation, except for the simple fact that as it rotates around the center point, it will corkscrew up into the air, which gives a really neat effect. And finally, You've got the times 50, you click on that and you actually have a 50 times zoom lens and you can move that accordingly. We also offer one year of full coverage with our Bigly Care Package, which gives you the ultimate peace of mind. Accidents, water damage, or even lost drone? No problem. With Bigly Care Refresh, we've got you covered for a full year.